हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द जे के री एजेक्स कॉल विद द लारावेल सो इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज़ एजेक्स कॉल वाई वी यूज एजेक्स कॉल एंड वट आर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द एजेक्स कॉल एक्चुअली आई ऑलरेडी शूटेड नदर वीडियो ऑन इट दैट हाउ यू कैन सेंड द एजेक्स कॉल इन द लारावेल यूजिंग डेटा डेटा टेबल्स बट समन आस्क मी दैट डोंट कॉपी पेस्ट द कोड फ्राम समवेयर एंड पेस्ट दिस इन टू यूर कोड बिकॉज बिगिनर्स कॉन्ट कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस बिकॉज आई एम फॉलोइंग अ ब्लॉग आई एम कॉपिंग द बेसिक स्टफ एंड देन पेस्टिंग इन टू माई कोड फॉर सेविंग द टाइम बट समन आस्क मी दैट इट्स हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर अस दैट्स वाई आई एम शूटिंग एन अदर सीरीज ऑन इट दैट हाउ यू कैन सेंड द एजिक्स कॉल विद Uh, simple stuff so i'm going to shoot this everything in the real environment i'm not going to skip any of the steps which i follow most uh, follow in most of the my series so beginners uh, will understand uh, very easy to understand that how you, they can debug their codes if i have any uh, any issue so i will solve this issue in the real environment so first question arises that what is ajax call and what are the benefits of this ajax call so basically we use this ajax call for sending our request to the server without page refresh so then our ajax call comes and solve our issue without refreshing our web page sending a request to the server and then returning the response from the server and it will also useful for user experience because user can't wait to Uh, reload the web page it's instantly send the request to the server and then we can get the response from the server so that's is the beauty of this ajax call and we need this uh, features where we don't want to refresh our web page so let's get start with the simpler one so i installed a fresh installation of laravel so i named this project jquery ajax call with laravel so i open this uh, here in my text editor so first let me tell you that what we are going to cover so first we are going to create a model it's a bootstrap model so we are going to create categories from this model and then we are going to install the laravel ui data tables display categories edit categories delete categories and stuff like that so let's get started so i have opened this uh, project in the text editor and now i'm going to go to this resources views and here i'm going to create a new directory of categories okay in the categories i'm going to create uh, create dot play dot php because i'm going to implement uh, create uh, blade right so let me go to the bootstrap website so here i'm going to copy the basic stuff why because i'm going to copy this just cdn this script so i'm not going to copy any of the things which will uh, hard to you uh, for understanding so let me add this so uh, gation and here i'm going to add this create uh, category okay and then here i'm going to add a bootstrap cdn you already know that why we use this bootstrap cdn so basically it's uh, bootstrap file which exist on the different server and when you enter this cdn so it will automatically locate it and it will add it into your project so that's is the beauty of this cdn so you don't need to manually uh, add your file into the project so let me add the bootstrap js cdn also so here go to the body tag and you need to add this js cdn okay it's a bundle dot js and that's it so now here i'm going to first implement the some basic stuff so what are the basic stuff it's the uh, div dot container div dot id div dot row and stuff like that right so hope you are familiar with this one if you have some bootstrap knowledge it's pretty basic i'm going to define this into a center layer a center of the page so call md uh, you can say that it would be uh, uh 6 and i'm going to make this so uh, let me uh, make this class and here i'm going to make this offset column 3 offset 3 why i'm doing this because i'm i want to skip the first three columns and then uh, i want to add this so uh, in the 6 and then also i want to skip the last three columns because bootstrap will contain 12 columns okay so here i'm going to 
make this test okay so now the time is to let's close this one and here we need to open our file into the web browser so how we can open this so let's go to the web.php file and we are going to first create its route and then by using this route i'm going to remove this stuff and here i'm going to use this uh, route to get i'm going to make this a uh, uh, simple slash or category category slash create right so i can create the resource route but i'm going to make this simpler one and then we will convert this into the resource route if it's okay so here i'm going to create a first controller and then define methods into the controller so let's get to uh, start with the controller so what is the command of uh, creating the controller so it's a php artisan make controller make controller and uh, we are going to create a category controller category controller oops controller okay so now it's good hit enter okay it will be created inside the app http and controller right it's created there so here i need to reference this controller so i'm going to add this uh, category controller okay my text editor is still not suggesting me so let's wait for a moment to suggest me because it will automatically add it at the top so we don't need to manually add this at the top so that's the beauty of this uh, vs code so you need to install the vs code some extensions it will automatically edit at the top so it's uh, not suggesting me weird stuff so it's angry with me i don't know what's happening so it's a category controller so i will add this manually at the top and here when the second parameter i need to define the name of method so i'm going to add this create and then i need to add this at the top so here i'm going to add this use it's inside the app slash http controllers and in the controllers i have a category controller so i have added this one so now let's visit this uh, route so let me copy this route from there and here i need to paste this route create and it's going to open this kit and it says that oh it's throwing that uh, create does not exist because we did not create this one so let's create this one so click on this category controller so let me go to this category controller and here i need to create a method which method i need to create the public oops public function this would be a create right and here i need to return a view file which view file which we created right now in the category dot create so let's get refresh and we are going to open this category and this test is there so it means that we successfully created a resource uh, blade and then we open this through uh, through our this route so our video is uh, going bigger so i will meet you in the next one but before jumping to the next one i need to ready the basic stuff so here i need to add this in the next video i'm going to align this into the center and then i'm going to add a form where we can create these categories so i will meet you in the next one bye, -bye.